The government shutdown is finally over, for the next three weeks anyway, but hundreds of thousands of federal employees still are paying the price. Most of them continued to show up for work even as they missed another paycheck while they waited for one side to blink in Washington's political stare-down. Harry Smith has our Sunday closer. As air traffic was being delayed Friday afternoon because of a lack of air traffic controllers, American 30. rumors began to circulate that a deal to pay government workers was within reach. It is remarkable to think that those who are entrusted with the welfare of the flying public had already missed two paychecks. To step away from the politics for a second, it really is kind of nuts. On the ground, we have been more than a little amazed that on a number of trips through airports in the last month, TSA people have been dutifully screening passengers. I wonder how many of us would show up for work if we knew we were not going to get paid, at least not paid on time. The vast majority of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. Some say up to 80% of us. The vast majority of Americans, more than two thirds of us, have little or nothing saved credit card debt. The average is more than $6,000 at an interest rate of more than 17%. And along came this notion that government workers should get a bank loan to tide them over. The people might have to pay a little bit of interest, but the idea that it's paycheck or zero is not a really valid idea. It may come as a shock, but most banks don't operate like the building and loan in It's a Wonderful Life. And I'll sign yeah, the paper. Yeah. You don't have to sign anything. I know you. You pay when you can. That's okay. So those government workers who showed up every day, they were anything but average. They came to work even though there were no doubt heated conversations at home about bills to pay. They came to work even though the powers that be seemed to have little or no regard for their well-being. Shame on a country which treats its people like this. Those furloughed workers were pawns in a political game of chess. Are we relieved the shutdown, albeit temporary, is over? Sure. But those folks who went to work every day without pay, we should be impressed and thankful. They had our backs. For Sunday Today, Harry Smith, New York.